Hi friends, Miss Arwood here. Oh, I'm so glad you came today. I was actually just talking with my friend Donovan and Kelsey. They just got done with a workout and they were trying to think of something delicious to snack on as a treat to help cool them off. Oh, ice cream? That is an excellent idea. Oh no, but they don't know how to get to the ice cream store. Do you have any idea, friend? Ooh. If only there was something they could look at that would give them directions to the ice cream shop. Wait, what? A map? A map is a great idea. See, I'm looking on this map and I see the gym over here where they were just exercising. And then I see the ice cream shop over here. Donovan and Kelsey, all you have to do is follow this path through town and then you'll get that sweet treat. You know what? Maps are super helpful because they give you a very clear path on which you need to move. And that's kind of what we're gonna be doing today is learning how to move along a path when we're reading. Our learning goal for today says, I can use my finger to track words as I read. Now I'm sure you're wondering, how does a finger help you to know where to go and how to move when you're reading? Well, we have a super amazing tool as readers. It's called our reading finger. Now your reading finger is very pointy. So look at your fingers, figure out the pointiest one. That's the one I recommend using. I'm gonna use this reading finger. And what I'm gonna do is when I get to a page, I'm going to look to see the path I should start on. I'm gonna start all the way on the left-hand side and then I'm gonna move towards the right, okay? On this page I have dots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to touch the dots with my reading finger. And when I touch the dots, I'm gonna say the name of the animal that I see. Okay, ready? Here we go. So when I touch it, I'm gonna say the name of the animal. Giraffe, monkey, elephant. Good job. All right, I'm gonna let you practice. Go ahead and get your reading finger. I want you to tap the dots and see and say the name of the animals that you see. Ready? Giraffe, monkey, elephant. Awesome. Now sometimes, you know, we get to a page and they don't have dots. That's totally okay. You can tap right on the picture like this. I could say giraffe, monkey, elephant. See how I just touched right on the picture? Go ahead, friend, you go ahead and do that. Touch on the picture and say the name of the animal you see. Giraffe, monkey, elephant. Wow, you are tracking so well with that reading finger already. Excellent job. Now we can do it with um, all types of things, but let's practice a few more animals. I would like you this time, I'm gonna have you do it with me. Ready? I'm gonna tap on it and say it, and then you can tap on it and say it. Ready? Octopus, your turn. Seahorse, good. Clam, jellyfish. Awesome, okay, I want you to go ahead. I want you to start over by the octopus. Read this whole page by tapping on the dots and saying the name of the animals. Go for it. Yeah, you tap, go. Wonderful. Now, question for you. Could I do this? Octopus, clam, jellyfish, seahorse. No, I don't recommend doing that. When we track, we like to go in order because it helps keep us organized, okay? So when you're tracking and you're using your good reading finger, make sure you're moving in a nice straight path through the page. Okay, uh-oh, there are no dots. Can we still read this page? Yeah, of course. We can just tap right on the picture as we say the name. We could say octopus, seahorse, clam, jellyfish. You do it. Now, I just wanna let you know, your reading finger should be exhausted by the end of this lesson because we really wanna get it some good exercise and move along all of those pictures and the words and letters that we see. You know, speaking of letters, let's go ahead and work on saying the letters as we move now. Now, don't be afraid of letters. It's just like the pictures of the animals. As we see the letters, we're gonna tap and say the letter that we see, okay? Like this, B, M, P, Z, R. Okay, do it with me, ready? Here we go, get your reading finger. B, good job. M, P, Z, R. Excellent! Now we might not have the dots all the time, so what can we do if we don't have the dots? Yeah, our reading finger can touch exactly on the letters. All right, I want you to go ahead and try to do this page of letters by yourself. 
Go ahead, tap on them and say what they are. Okay, let's do it together now. Ready? B, M, P, Z, R. Excellent. See how we're starting at the left side and we're moving through all the way to the right, using our finger to help us track and keep us organized? Oh, I love it. All right. Whoa. Okay. We really upgraded ourselves. We went from pictures to just letters, and now we're doing words and pictures? Oh, my goodness. Okay, for this one, it's the same thing. I'm going to just tap under the words as I see it, and that will help me to read. And I'm going to go ahead and read this sentence. I just want you to follow along and tap on the dots as I read. But I'm going to read two pages, and then I'm going to have you read. So make sure your finger is moving to track and your ears are listening to what the words are saying. Okay, here we go. Ready? I see the pencil. I see the apple. Okay, your turn, friend. the, ooh, what's that picture of? Scissors, good. I see the scissors. Oh my goodness, so cute. What's that a picture of? A cat, yeah, all right, let's start over here, ready? You go. Oh my gosh, you just read a sentence. I see the cat. Now, what are you noticing, friends? Am I reading this at super duper flash speed? Am I going, I see the cat? No, I'm not doing that. Because when I'm practicing tracking and when I'm really focusing on what I'm doing, I want to slow myself down so I make sure I don't miss any of the great words. Okay? So we're going to tap very carefully and make sure that we're touching each of the words as we go. Okay? I see the cat. All right, you do this one. Oh, there's no dots. Yeah, you can just tap the word. Go for it. Can you read this sentence? All right. How's your reading finger? Is it getting tired yet? I see the dog. <laughs> well, you do this one. What does it say? Perfect. I see the bat. Ooh, I don't want to see a bat. Friend, our learning goal for today says I can use my finger to track words as I read. That's exactly what we did today, and you did phenomenal. That means super duper 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 amazing. What I want you to do is make sure that when you're reading, you have stretched out that reading finger and it is ready to go because you're definitely gonna be using it to help you track all of those good words as you read. All right, happy reading, and I'll see you next time.